There is a huge gap between the world we live in today and what it was a few decades ago. Now most of us are able to make our own decisions, wear the clothes we choose, and freely realize our desires. However, the world was not always so malleable and permissive. Not so long ago, wearing a miniskirt or swimsuit in public was considered a misdemeanor, and people were limited in realizing their sincere desires. In this selection, we want to share some images that illustrate how the world functioned in the early days. In 1967, Catherine Switzer was the first woman to run the Boston Marathon. It happened five years before the women were allowed to take part in it. In this picture, an organizer is trying to take her away. English supermodel Jun Shrimpton is wearing a mini dress during the races in Melbourne. Her outfit caused a real outcry among the guests in 1965. These two girls wore miniskirts in Cape Town in 1965. Maud Wagner, the first known female tattoo artist, also covered her own body with tattoos. 1907. These schoolgirls are cycling home to change their clothes because tight-fitting slacks, play pushers, and shorts had been banned in their school. West Berlin, 1953. British women's suffrage movement members struggled for the right to vote for women. London, 1906. In 1966, Ives St. Laurent gave the most male outfit, a tuxedo, to women. His famous models were not allowed to enter restaurants in pantsuits. Such an outfit was treated as a clear provocation. Annette Kellerman, a professional swimmer, a film actress, and a writer, poses in a swimsuit. She was arrested and charged with indecent behavior in 1907. In the USA, there was a special league consisting of fanatical morality proponents that fought against indecent swimsuits. In this photo, actress Leela Lee wears a traditional swimming suit in the 1920s. This woman is being arrested for wearing a swimsuit and having her legs uncovered. Chicago, 1922. Elizabeth Eckford was one of a group of African-American students who were the first black students ever to attend classes. This photo was taken in 1957, right after the Supreme Court of the United States decided it was illegal to segregate children in schools. Billie Jean King was a professional tennis player, a record holder for her number of wins at Wimbledon and the founder of an equal rights establishment among men and women in tennis. Maria Teresa de Filippis was an Italian racing driver. She was the first woman to race in Formula One. Senda Berenson was an American sportswoman and the founder of women's basketball. And she modified the existing men's basketball rules, invented in 1891. Hedy Lamarre was an American film actress and inventor who ruined stereotypes about beautiful women and science. Thanks to her invention, nowadays we have cellular communication. Members of the Women's Organization to the War on Styles picketed a dress shop in protest of longer skirts and padded hips. California, 1947. Rosa Parks had her fingerprints taken after her arrest because she refused to go to the back of a bus for white people, Alabama, 1956. Mary Quant was a designer who created a revolution by offering women a miniskirt. Paul Porret was a French fashion designer who set women free from corsets. 